The term, Maori, refers to the indigenous Polynesian people of New Zealand. They have a rich cultural heritage and are the largest ethnic group in New Zealand, with a distinct language, Te Reo Maori, and traditions. Now we learn about Maori people, their culture and creation myths before moving forward please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notifications whenever I upload new video. The history of the Maori people is complex and diverse, reflecting a dynamic interaction between their traditional way of life and the influences of European colonization. Here is history in details for Maori people. Arrival in New Zealand. The Maori are believed to have arrived in New Zealand from Polynesia around the 13th century, although some estimates suggest an earlier arrival. They brought with them a unique culture, language, and a strong connection to their ancestral lands. Early Settlement and Social Organization Maori society was initially organized into tribes, each with its own chief and distinct territories. They practiced agriculture, cultivating crops like kumara, sweet potatoes, and developed intricate wood and bone carvings as a form of artistic expression. Contact with Europeans The late 18th century saw the arrival of European explorers and traders, leading to increased contact between Maori and Europeans. This contact had both positive and negative effects, with the introduction of new technologies and goods, as well as diseases that had a devastating impact on the Maori population. Land Wars As European settlers increased in number, conflicts arose over land and resources. The New Zealand Wars, 1845-1872, were a series of conflicts between Maori and the British Crown and its settlers. These wars had a profound impact on Maori society, leading to the loss of land and changes in political structures. Treaty of Waitangi. In 1840, the Treaty of Waitangi was signed between the British Crown and various Maori chiefs. The treaty aimed to establish a legal framework for European settlement while protecting Maori land and rights. However, there have been historical and ongoing debates about its interpretation and implementation. Cultural Revival In the 20th century, there was a resurgence of Maori cultural pride and a revitalization of traditional practices. Efforts were made to preserve and promote the Maori language, arts, and customs. Contemporary Issues Today, Maori continue to face social and economic challenges, including disparities in health, education, and representation. There are ongoing efforts to address these issues and promote the recognition of Maori rights and cultural heritage. The Maori people have a rich spiritual and cultural heritage with a belief system deeply intertwined with the natural world. Here are key aspects of their religion and belief system. Vakapapa, genealogy. Central to Maori spirituality is the concept of Vakapapa, which encompasses genealogy, lineage, and connections between all living things. Understanding one's Vakapapa is essential for knowing one's place in the world and maintaining a connection with ancestors. Te Ao Marama and Te Kor. Realms of Existence Maori cosmology is often described in terms of different realms, including Te Ao Marama, the world of light and life, and Te Kor, the world of potential and the void. These concepts contribute to Maori understandings of creation and existence. Atua Deities Maori spirituality involves a pantheon of Atua, or deities, each associated with specific aspects of nature, such as forests, oceans, or war. Some well-known Atua include Tane Mahuta, god of forests and birds, Tangaroa, god of the sea, and Rongo, god of cultivated food. Tapu and Noa. The concepts of Tapu, sacredness, and Noa, ordinary, are integral to Maori life. Certain places, objects, or individuals may be considered Tapu, requiring respect and adherence to cultural protocols. Rituals and ceremonies are often performed to remove Tapu. Wairua. Spirit. Maori believe in the existence of wairua, or spirit, which is a fundamental aspect of a person. After death, it is believed that the wairua journeys to the ancestral lands. Ancestral spirits continue to play a role in the lives of the living. Wara Tapari and Haka. Traditional performing arts, such as Wara Tapari, House of Entertainment, and Haka, War Dance, are important expressions of Maori spirituality. These arts are used to convey stories, myths, and cultural values, often accompanied by music and dance. Takanga. Customary practices. Maori cultural practices, known as takanga, encompass rituals, protocols, and customary behaviors that are integral to daily life. Observing takanga helps maintain balance and harmony within the community. Maori spirituality is diverse, and individual beliefs may vary. While traditional beliefs continue to be practiced, Maori also engage with Christianity and other religions introduced during European colonization. 
Overall, the Maori worldview emphasizes interconnectedness, respect for nature, and the importance of maintaining harmony within the spiritual and physical realms. The Maori people have several creation myths that explain the origins of humanity and the world. One of the most prominent is the story of Ranginui and Papatuanuku, which highlights the relationship between the Sky Father and the Earth Mother. Ranginui and Papatuanuku. In the beginning, Ranginui, the Sky, and Papatuanuku, the Earth, were locked in a tight embrace, their children existing in the darkness between them. These divine beings represent the heavens and the Earth, and their closeness prevented light from reaching the world. Children of Ranginui and Papatuanuku. Ranginui and Papatuanuku had numerous children, including Tane Mahuda, god of forests and birds, Tangaroa, god of the sea, and Tefiramatia, god of weather and storms, among others. These children struggled in the confined space between their parents. Separation of Ranginui and Papatuanuku. Tane Mahuda, feeling the need for space and light, decided to separate his parents. After many attempts, he succeeded in pushing Ranginui and Papatuanuku apart, creating space and allowing light to enter the world. Descendants of Tane Mahuda. Following the separation, Tane Mahuda played a significant role in the creation of humanity. He crafted the first woman, Hineahuone, from the soil, breathing life into her. From their union, the first humans emerged. Other children's reactions. The separation of Ranginui and Papatuanuku led to mixed reactions from their other children. Tefiramadia, upset by the disturbance of the natural order, unleashed storms and winds upon the world. This reflects the Maori understanding of the interconnectedness of the elements. Importance of Vakapepa. The creation myth emphasizes the concept of Vakapepa, emphasizing the importance of genealogy and ancestral connections. It reinforces the idea that all living things are interconnected and share a common origin. These myths are not only stories of creation but also serve as cultural and moral teachings, imparting values and knowledge to successive generations. It's important to note that different IWI tribes may have variations of the creation narrative, adding unique elements that reflect their specific cultural perspectives and experiences. Thanks for watching.